Today on Mr. Media, I'll talk to beautiful Maytal Dohan, star of the new dramatic thriller, Monogamy. Stick around, and maybe she'll tell you about this one time in Hebrew school. So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media interview. You know, MrMedia.com, MRMedia.com. Stop by and check it out. There are nearly 700 archived celebrity interviews for your listening pleasure. The show is brought to you today by 1-800-DIAL-DJs. Planning a wedding, mitzvah, or a corporate event in the New York, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania area? For any and all occasions, call 1-800-DIAL-DJs nationwide at 1-800-DIAL-DJs and ask for DJ Ira. That's 1-800-342-5357. Or visit them online at 1-800-DIAL-DJs.com and tell them you heard about 1-800-DIAL-DJs on Mr. Media. Mr. Media is recorded live before a studio audience of rabbinic candidates who will probably see yeshiva in a brand new light when this interview is done in the new new media capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. Are you, um, are you scared to get married? Of course, aren't you? Yeah. You check out the car. Look at the car. Look at the car. Look at the car. He goes home to his wife. He says, oh, honey, my watch up. My watch up. If the movie is titled Monogamy, and it stars not one, but two beautiful women, my money is on there being some sort of threat to the status quo in the title. I'm just guessing, because the movie opens on Friday, March 18th, and, well, I haven't seen it yet, but I suspect that today's guest actress Maytal Dohan, has something to do with challenging the relationship between co-stars Chris Messina and Rashida Jones. Mm-hmm. Dohan will be a familiar face and body to fans of Showtime's long-running series, Weeds. On that show, she was Yale Hoffman, the very strong-willed Israeli director of admissions for a Hebrew university where Andy hoped to find salvation. But, this being Weeds, viewers knew he'd find something else when she said, I'm wearing a bra, so stop looking for my nipples. As one YouTube fan wrote, that was the hottest way I have ever heard anyone say nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Maytal Doan, welcome to Mr. Media. Thank you. I like your intro. Thank you very much. I think, and, I think it's a very appropriate way to uh, introduce me. Well, then hopefully this won't bother you, because I, I have to ask on behalf of that YouTube fan, who I'll tell you was, was not me. I actually read this on YouTube. Oh, okay. Could you please say the word nipples one more time? I can say nipple. I can't say nipples because um, I just think that one nipple is much better than two nipples. <laughs> you think about it. <laughs> you think two is better? Uh, I like it, yeah. I think any way you like say it, it is going to work. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so how, do you, how are you supposed to say it? How do you say it? Uh, nipple? Nipples? I don't know. Okay. It does, sounds, it's not a sound good. Yeah, it's not so sexy when I say it. I don't know why. I know. Um, I'm trying to say it as sexy as I can. <laughs> uh, now, anyone who saw you on Weeds uh, won't soon forget it. Can you tell me a little bit, uh, what was it like parachuting into that show for six weeks, for six episodes? Um, it was great. It was so much fun. Um, everyone on the set, actually, are really funny. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it's always, you always, they always say that what you see on stage is what you actually see behind stage. So that's kind of what I felt about the show. It's such a great, um, you know, the crew and the people and the creator, Genji Cohen is great. And so it just, it's a great show. Now, Justin Kirk uh, has been on Mr. Media. Uh, we did a very long interview, as a matter of fact. It was a lot of fun. He seemed like a very fun guy. Uh, well, I know. But I mean, I didn't have to take off my clothes with him. What, what, what was he like so to be with for you? That's for you. Um, it's a lot of fun. I love Justin. He, he was a great acting partner and just a 
like adorable guy and a great actor. So just a pleasure, you know. Have you have you done a lot of scenes like that in other films or TV shows, or was that kind of one of a kind? Um, <clears throat> I did one scene with a uh, blue dildo, but that was uh, for the Jordan uh, TV mm -hmm. network. And uh, then I did one with a yellow dildo for the Lebanon <laughs> uh, network. <laughs> no kidding. Oh man. <laughs> Oh. No, I did, you know, I did many different kinds of scenes. Um, <laughs> some scenes are more, um, you know, evolved some, um, a little bit of meat, you know, revealed. But um, this is life. Hey, you know, this is what we do every day when we wake up. We put our clothes on and we take it off. I got it. We sleep. <laughs> Unless we sleep with pajama, which is just, it's redundant. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Gotcha. Uh, I got to ask you this. Now, I, I read your IMDb listing. I was surprised to see that you also played a character named Yale on The Sopranos, of all places. Right. Isn't it weird? It's like my, actually, one of my best girlfriends called Yale in Israel. So yeah. maybe it has a connection, you know, maybe I carry her name, you know, without <laughs> like knowing unconsciously, I have um, Yale written on my forehead. So was it, well, was it coincidence that those two characters? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, it's just coincidence. Weird. Yeah. That's very strange. All right, well, look, I know you're here because you've got a new movie coming out, so tell folks a little right. bit about the plot of uh, Monogamy and uh, the, the part that you play in it. Monogamy is a great movie. Um, I really had the pleasure to be part of this production. It's directed by Dan Adam Shapira, and um, it's about a couple that is engaged, um, played by Chris Messina, who is a photographer, and Rashida Jones, who is a singer. And um, he has a new business, and his business, he offers services of um, providing uh, photography to people who are going to hire him as a fly on the wall, so they can't see where he's at, and he's just going to follow them. And one of his clients is me. It's probably not, you know, not a very good idea to start with. Um, and uh, basically, I hire him, and I do all kinds of um, provocative and uh, weird actions that basically uh, makes him get really obsessed with me. And that's why the movie called Monogamy, because the question about monogamy starting to really um, be something that bothers him. So, so you, that's life. So you're, you're kind of tempting him out of monogamy? Is that the uh, Im implication? It's not really, it's like the motives of the characters are not really clear. Mm -hmm. As an audience that would see the movie from, um, from the beginning to the end, you'll understand why is she doing it eventually. But while she's doing it, she's, it's not clear if she's actually tempting him or why, you know, why is she behaving like that. And that's part of the magic. Hmm. He doesn't know and the audience don't know. It looks from the, the trailer like it might be kind of a, a dark movie. Is that fair to say? Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, one is I think it's very, like, time. Um, it's just, like, right for this time of period and... I don't know if this time period is, is dark, but um, I think monogamous relationships are a little bit in the darkness at the moment. <laughs> so the movie, so the movie is a little bit dark. It's it's pretty. What's the movie rated? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, does everybody? Keep, I guess the question is, does everybody keep their clothes on in this one? Um, yeah, but it's still it's still provocative. Okay. So. I'm not sure if it's all either. And do you have any scenes with Rashida? Um, not in this movie. Hopefully in the next one. Can't I, wait. I, oh, are you doing <laughs> another one with her? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had to ask, right? I have to. Um, yeah. I'm kind of curious. We're talking on uh, Tuesday? What is today? Tuesday. And the, mo the movie yeah. opens on Friday. I kind of wondered, in the, right. in the days leading up to a, a, a release like this, are you... Can you help yourself from thinking about how a, a breakout in a movie like this might help your career and where, you know, what that might mean? Um, you know, you always, obviously, like, 
as a human being, you always think about life and about what might happen and, and just part of everything, you know. So you do let your mind wander a little bit and think, boy, you know, this could be big. And, and I've done so much in my, in my career, and that's kind of like what I've been doing my whole life. So I kind of, you get a sense, these, the industry here is very different than the industry in Israel. So you kind of get a sense. Um, here it's much more, I always say it's like a jungle. Um, like you basically, you know, you can go in the jungle and a tiger can jump on you or you can find a treasure. And uh, so you can never know what's going to happen. Well, in Israel, it was just kind of a little bit more clear, but in the same time, it's harder to find a treasure, really, you know. So you kind of just find, like, small, small like, um, map signs along the way. Well, along that line, I was, I was kind of curious. Do you and your agent have a long-term career plan? And, and, and if so, where are you in that plan? Um, I'm planning to become a pilot, and I just took my first okay. lesson how to fly. So once I'm, I'm going to get, I'm planning to get a really, really big mm -hmm. plane, and then I'll invite everyone to join me so we can all fly together. How it just sounds good. Happen. Where's the first place we're going? Um, the first place is going to just be to the moon, but then we're going to go straight to the sun. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully nothing would happen with the earthquake and all that. We're all going to join me. <laughs> all right, let me ask you one more question about, yeah. Are, are you going to, are you going to take a plane? Are you going to take a plane? You invite me plane? on the plane, I'm there. Absolutely. Right, let me ask you one more earthbound question and we'll let you go. Uh, what do you, I, yeah. I, I, it looks like you have a couple other roles lined up. What's next uh, for you? Um, I shot a movie with Michael Imperioli called Foreclosure. And that would probably come out soon. And I'm also, uh, I'll probably be shooting a film called Stitching with director Bernard Rose. And it's based on a off-Broadway production that I did hmm. last year. A lot of one-word yeah. titles. Monogamy, Stitching, yeah. Foreclosure. <laughs> People. I know, what does it mean? And then I also, I'm working on a record. Really? What kind, of, what kind of music? Yeah. I call it electropop. Electropop. Kind of a Euro European sound? It has a little bit of European sound. And um, so this is the next really project that I'm at the moment focused on. I'm pretty excited about it. It's called, the record is going to be called I'm in Hate with Love. Well. And uh, Shea Bish has produced it. Well, when it's done, yeah. come on back and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll play some music for people. Dance. Well, I won't dance, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to play the music for you. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, folks, uh, you can see Maytal Dohan in her latest movie, Monogamy, uh, also starring Chris Messina and Rashida Jones, when it opens this, uh, this Friday, March 18th, in theaters nationwide. Uh, Maytal, can, do you have a website? Are you on Twitter, Facebook, any of that kind of thing? Sure. You can do, you know, join okay. my Facebook. People can find you there. Absolutely. Very good. Yeah. Uh, well, Maytal Dohan, thank you so much for joining us on Mr. Media today. Thank you My so pleasure. much. Uh, and folks, for more original interviews with your favorite film and TV actresses, surf over to our main website, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. You can also listen, as Maytel does when she's in Israel, with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. I'm just kidding about that. Uh, if you've got an idea for a guest, a comment on today's show, or would like to advertise on Mr. Media Radio, Email me directly at bob at mrmedia.com. And, of course, you can follow, also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. And thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you tuning in and giving us it a look. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye, Maytel. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.